right, Mr. Ace Freely, <laughs> and on his right, Mr. John Regan. <coughs> Good evening. How are you, boys? It's a pleasure to be here. How are you? Well, it's nice to see you at oh, last. Yeah. When, when was the last time you were both in London, then? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was here in 86. See, uh, he was here in 86. I was here in 82 with Kiss. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, promoting Creatures of the Night. Right, right. But it's been a long time since you actually played over in, in the old uh, town. Yeah. Isn't it? When did you play here? God. He you can't know, remember. You know, I told you I had bronchitis and he... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, see, you probably noticed that we're all a bit like this today. We're all a bit like this. Is this smoke? Is yeah. this studio? Jesus We've had enough, it. haven't we, boys? We're sick of this. I'm, I'm tired of it. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Well, you know, my guitar smokes. I have to deal with it in concert. Of course. So, I mean, now I have to deal with it on TV shows. Well, I thought it might make you feel at home, you know. Well, you know, yeah. That is your guitar back there. <laughs> in fact, that is Ace's old guitar. Yeah, it's in the back. The back. <laughs> see, no one okay. that. So, we will get down to some serious stuff, I promise. Yeah. In the meantime, let's have a look at some Freely's Comet, and this is Rock Soldiers. Fraley's Comet there and Rock Soldiers. A video familiar to anybody who watches this yeah. show, all right? I like yeah. that bit at the end there where you go wheeling through the crowd there. They, they <laughs> kind of shoved him. He had roller skates and they gave him one good shove down the aisle. <laughs> he fell a few times, but they got one right. <laughs> so I have a bad knee. All right, right. <laughs> <clears throat> so that, uh, that, that track was from the first Freely's Comet album, which came out nearly a year ago now, if I'm right. About a year, and April 27th, on Ace's Actually, birthday. Yeah, it was released on my birthday, and the record company didn't even know it. <laughs> Talk about intelligence. Is this Mega Force Records? Yeah. Well, and I in used conjunction to, with Atlantic. I, oh, well, I was going to say, I was about to give Mega Force Records one of those, actually, but it's yeah. Atlantic, isn't it? So, one of those for No, Atlantic. well, no, it's Mega Force and Atlantic. What? Come on. Mega Force <laughs> and Atlantic! <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Oh, dear, that hurt me as well. Now listen, you're here in London. We should tell people what you're doing. You're going to be playing at the Hammersmith Odeon on Saturday night, aren't you? We are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you are. Otherwise, me and about... I'm going to dinner. I don't know about you. <laughs> I was going to go buy some Marmite. <laughs> or some... Or some... <laughs> What's Marmite, this guy? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Can't you get Marmite in Ace? In America, Ace? Wait, now, first of all, I'm a vegetarian. I wouldn't even touch that stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. See, there was a slight this misunderstanding. A, I'm a Marmite like aficionado. He didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Really? But he's getting credited now for the resurgence of Marmite in the United States. And, and now, who do that really? cartoon in Kerrang? That's what I want to know. What, Pandora Peroxide? Yeah. That's a young man called Ray Zell. Now, listen, now, look, nobody at home knows what we're talking about. They're all saying, what are they talking about? Why are they talking about Marmite? Well, we're not going to tell you. What we're going to do is, we're going to play another video, and this is Freely's Comet, and Into the Night. It's about hookers. <laughs> who was that then? Tell me, tell me, who was that? The girl? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was some German actress that I, actually, I never met before until the night of the shoot, and the next day she was leaving for Germany to do a okay. feature film. Did she mention my name? Uh, actually, you know, she, she hinted at it. Well, I told her. <laughs> I asked her to keep quiet. There you go, you see. You know, can't yeah, trust she, the she Germans. hinted it, but can't trust the she, yeah, she didn't really want to go into detail. About it. All right. Now, listen, I hate to... to she said mix. <laughs> I hate to, like, bring you all down, like, with horrible detail. But we've got... We've got six of these. Take a look at this. This is the brand new album. EP, I should say. The live EP, plus one, from six. Freely's Comet. You get four live tracks on this. Rip It Out, Break Out, Something Moved, and Rocket Ride. But I'm plus, one, <laughs> plus one brand new studio track called Words Are Not Enough, which obviously they're not, if you're following this interview. Yeah. Now, boys, I've got, to, I've got to ask you, this has just come out. <clears throat> Why did you decide to do a live EP after only doing one studio album? Oh, he's going to get rough on us. Uh -oh. yeah, okay. I mean, we come have to now. ask some serious yeah. questions now. <laughs> uh, basically, we wanted something for, the, for our fans while we were making our LP. Our next LP, right. something to take up the slack since we weren't going to tour anymore, and uh, that's and it. And this is it. Yeah, and this it is was it. great over here because we didn't get a chance to tour, yeah. so it's kind of an idea of what we what we do show yeah, this best. Is, actually, this is really has captured the essence of the band more so than the LP, I think. Right. I really like the studio track as well. Actually, I mean, I love all the live stuff, but the studio track isn't doesn't uh, well, this sounds like a words, step. There's, there's not enough words to really talk about it. It's right. not enough, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> the studio track is gone. And what, what is the title of that one that you're talking about? Uh, words are not enough, actually. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Why did we call it that? I don't know. I'm I, sure it was for a very good reason. I wrote it... Uh... I'm sure it was for a very good reason. You wrote it in 1924 for the Broadway play, Wake Me When I'm Nude. 
which was one of my earliest appearances in the theatre, but we won't talk about that. Now, look, we're going to have a competition for these. We've got six of these to give away. I'm going to, I'm going to show it to you again, am I? Probably not. We've got six of these to give away. Correct. And all you have to do is answer this incredibly easy question, which is, I've forgotten, what was the incredibly easy question? Uh, I know what it was. Whose daughter is this? No. <laughs> the incredibly easy question was this. Can you tell us... Can you tell us which albums the, I'm being four, attacked by this plant. the four live tracks come from? You see, it's very easy. You can understand me, can't you? Four live tracks. Which albums? Four live tracks. Which albums do they come from? I've had enough. <laughs> oh, it's just too much. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go out, go, have a bit of Rolling Stones now. I'm gibbering. We're going to have a bit of Rolling Stones now because, believe it or not, somebody not too far away from me played on this track. This is called One Hit to the Body. Oh. The Rolling Stones, one hit to the body. Well, it's a first for everything today on the show, isn't it? By the way, the reason we're playing that is because John Reagan actually plays the bass on that track. Actually plays the bass! <laughs> yeah. I, I promised I wouldn't tell them, John, no, but they probably, they probably guessed anyway. <laughs> Alright, what next? What a guy, what a guy. I've never seen all these photographs. Oh, you like my photographs? Where did they come from? These are my guitar posers, and over there is my rogue. I have, a, I have a photograph of my own. Really? Yeah. Whip it out? Oh, I say. No, let's rip it out. Oh, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a cutie. Who's this? This is my daughter. Oh. Monique. What's her name? <clears throat> Monique. Monique. Yeah. Oh, she's sweet. Is that a sweet girl or what? Yeah. Hey, of course it is. Is she a Freely's Comet fan? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Really? She sang on her first record. You're kidding. She no. sang on the song Dolls. Actually, if you, uh, the last chorus, if you turn it up, you can really hear it. Really? Yeah, she gets louder and louder as the track progresses. And would she like a Monsters of Rock t-shirt? She'd oh, love she'd one. Love Do you could swing it? <laughs> Don't know, really. <laughs> 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 Mr. John Reagan, thank you very much thank for you, coming Mark. in the show today. It's been a real pleasure seeing you. Ace, any time you're in town, Mitch. and don't make it another ten years, <laughs> come in and see us, and we're good luck. We're going to see you at the concert, I hope. Indeed you are. Yeah. I shall be there, and I'm really Should looking forward fun. to a good night. Freely's Comet. What nice guys. <laughs> what nice guys. Ah, oh, shucks. OK, right, let's have a bit more music now. We're going out on this part of the show with some old mates of ours. This is called Rat and Slip of the Lip. 